Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, everyone. So, uh, I would like to introduce myself first. My name is Dafa Parite Devanu Ramadan, and I'm from Chankaring campus, which is where I am uh, attending my college for. And um, currently, I'm in the fourth semester. And in here, in this presentation, I would like to present to you my poetry appreciation, which is like I I was analyzing some poetry, which which was uh, the poetry that was uh, assigned to me, and also the poet the poem that was I made up my by myself. So, um, in this uh, presentation. Um, I'm about to present to you my analysis towards the poem that I've made as well as I observe. So there are two uh, point, two poems that I've been analyzes. Uh, the first one is the poem that was assigned to me to be analyzed. And the second one is the poem that I made up by myself and then I analyzed that too. So we're going to stick to the first uh, poem. So the first poem is Out Out by Robert Frost. So in this part, I would like to elaborate the intrinsic, extrinsic, and the message of the poetry. So please listen to the explanation of the analysis that have been made. Out Out by Robert Frost. The buzz snow snarled and rattled in the yard and met dust on dropped top line sticks of wood. Sweet scented stuff when the breeze drew across it, and from there those that lift eye could count. Five mountains range one behind the other, under the sunset far into Vermont, and the soul snarled and rattled, snarled and rattled, as it ran light or had to veer the load, and nothing happened. They was all but done. Call it a day. I wish they might have said to please the boy by giving him the half hour that the boy counts so much when saved from work. His sister stole be beside him in her apron to tell them super at the word they saw, as if the proof sauce that knew what super meant lived out at the boy's hand or seemed to leave. He must have given the hand however it was neither refused the meeting, but the hand. The boy first outcry was rueful laugh, and he swung toward them holding up the hand, half in appeal, but half as to keep the life from spilling that the boy saw all, since he was old enough to know the big boy, doing a man's work stuff a children had heard. For he saw all spoil, don't let him cut my hand off. The doctor, when he comes, don't let him sister. So, but the hand was gone already. The doctor put him in the dark of Adder. He lay puffs and his lips out with his breath. And then the water at his pools took fright. No one believed they listened at his heart, little less nothing, and then ended it. So that's the poem by Robert Frost uh, and uh, with the title of Out, Out. So, um, I would like to elaborate the analysis that have been made toward this poem. So the first one, I would like to uh, let you know about the intrinsic elements. So uh, basically, the poem aims to create a false sense of security so that the death of the boy feels all the more random and shocking. Accordingly, it uses rather unpoetic language for most of its lines and the lack of rhymes is part of this. The boy who dies seems to be from typical family, and his role in cutting wood seems to be part of his role in the family too. And the poem is keen to point out how the day in question was just a typical day in this young boy's life until, of course, it wasn't. So it's a sad poet. It's a sad poetry, and you can feel the the sense of security. So uh, the Robert Frost was highlighted some of the interesting point of view, which uh, was point out the uh, child, the, this children workers. And because of uh, 
he was doing so um he was doing a hard work to uh fulfill his needs and also his uh family needs and um but at the end eventually he couldn't even uh he couldn't even uh um make it anymore and then uh at the end he have to uh you know have to rest uh for forever and uh and then i would like to elaborate the extrinsic element about uh this the door this one and um as you know that robert frost uh one of the america's most celebrated poets lived from 1874 till 1963 broadly speaking and uh, Frost is considered one of the most important spots uh, of the 20th century. Indeed, he was that rare thing, immensely popular with both the public and the critics. Part of the film's power then is that it is wholly realistic in a way that it depicts that as potentially sudden and surprising. It's also worth noting the timing of the film's publication. Mount 10 in the fall was published during the First World War one of the humanity's most devastating and deadly conflict. So the interesting point about this film, uh, from the from the extrinsic point of view, is uh, that this film or this book uh, at first didn't appear in the public because it's too cruel and it's based on the on the on the true story. So uh, Frost think that it's it's a very very um, inappropriate for him to public his to uh, publish this book because uh, this is based on uh, his friend's story and uh, he th he thought that it will be so cruel and it will be so um, inappropriate to publish this book because of uh, this is uh, this book is um, is to honor uh, her his friends uh, that. So uh, uh, this poem is not published at first, but at the end, um, uh, this poem is um, founded by uh, one of the uh, uh, poets in America, and then it's published at the end, after the death of Robert Frost uh, in, 19, in 1963. And then the next part of this presentation is the message of the poem. So uh, as I mentioned before, that the film narrates the tragic uh, death of a boy who accidentally severed his hand while working on the farm. The young boy later dies in shock. At the outset, the speaker presents a graphic description of a dangerous soul, uh, which was the main cause of death. And the cold response of the people about the young boy re reveals the hardships of working people so it tells of the un untimely death of a young, a young man and in doing so. It draws attention to the fragility of life and a somewhat callous nature in which a life must go on in the face of such an untimely death. So uh, as I mentioned before earlier, that this poem is so tragic and uh, the, tragic, tr uh, the tragic moment that uh, the boys have in this poem is narrates uh, perfectly by the frost so uh, that's why uh, that's the reason why frost didn't want to uh, publish this uh, poem at first because it, it was too cruel because it this poem is um, is given to 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 honor the the friends uh, children or the friends uh, sons uh, because uh, the sons the sons um, the, the friends who have sons, has died because of working too much on the farm and accidentally died in, in, in a very uh, shocking moment. And uh, that's the end of the this analysis. So there are three uh, analyses that I would uh, analyze. Uh, the, first, the first one is extrinsic, the second one is uh, intrinsic, and the, the last one or the third one is the message of the poem. And then uh, we would like to um uh next to the other slide so this is the poem that i made out by myself and and in this part i would like to elaborate the simil and the metaphor of the poem that i've been using. but first i would like to uh read oh, read uh, read this poem uh aloud uh, to you so please listen
The title of this film is Android Japan. An ultimate shine appear, barely touch the heart of mine, falling down to the earth, brightest light to cheer up the day. All of a sudden, don't come up to me. A word that feels like stabbing myself comes with a full heart and gone with scar and wound. Stood with the scarcity of law, appealing myself into an error. Tears are coming down. Rain covered them all. Eventually got nothing left. Proving the existential law has nothing but hurt. Word given the best, but the worst to me. So basically, this poem is narrates about the, uh, the dreams of a man or a woman, could be unisex, that wants to uh, confess the, he, uh, his or her feelings to, the, to their crush. But uh, unfortunately, at the end, they, 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 they didn't able to, uh, to confess or like the crush they've been crushed on has it has uh, showing the signal of don't come closer, any closer to me. So um, this guy or this girl at the end uh, will not be able to get close with their crush because the crush that they crush on is not really hardly welcome them in, in their heart. So in the, but in this uh in this in the presentation I would like to give a, a, a point of view of or the perspective of the simul, one of the um one of the um a part of the intrinsic elements of the poem. So the simul uh, on this poem is uh the first is the breakfast like to cheer up the day. So as you probably know that simul is a somewhat something that represents uh it represents directly like the direct message of the um of the poem itself so the word or the language used it of in the poem is um like represents uh the the feelings uh the <clears throat> the sense of uh the sense of heart the sense of feeling that uh that you want to you, you want to convey uh in the in the poem. So the first part of this poem is the simul, and um in this in this poem, this the first simul that I found is the breakfast the breakfast light picture of the day, or or means that the light of the sun that used to make the sky bright and sunny to make people feel pleasant. And the second part of this um, simul is uh, a word that feels like stabbing myself. This is exists on the on the on the sixth line of this poem, and um, and the meaning of this um, of this sentence or of this uh, of this word is means that the word comes out from the person. He is skinned, is really hurting, his feeling like a knife got stabbed into his body. So it's really hard, like you stab, like your heart is stabbed by a knife exactly to your heart. So it's really, really hard. And the second uh, analysis that I did is the metaphor. So <clears throat> in this in this poem, the first metaphor is comes with flowery heart or means that his or her heart or her heart is really pleasant to catch up with him or her. So it feels like you were so happy to meet your crush, but um, but you can, you know, like at the end of this story, uh, they cannot get any closer to, to, to their crush because um, their crush is not really heart welcome you in, in their heart. And the second metaphor that I found in this poem is tooth. Is tooth with the scarcity of love means that he or she got an empty heart or a heartbreaking. So after he confessed uh, her or their feelings to, to do their crush, then 
uh, they they get rejected, they they feel like the scarcity of love. They feel like lack of attention, lack of love, lack of something that they are really looking for in in in, the, in their life. So the scarcity of love means that she or he got an empty heart of or heart heartbreaking. And the last one is appealing myself into an arrow. So it means that they will not stand their body in front of her or him and instead and instead they will step away from her or she or the cross they that they crush on. So they will run away, they will move far away from the crush that have been crushed for maybe a long time, for maybe for um for um, a particular time being and uh, at the end because uh, they got rejected then they are appealing the, themselves into an arrow like an arrow that when you when you uh, release this then the arrow will really move far away step away from the from the uh, from the box from the uh, from the arrow so Yes, that's the end of my presentation. Thank you so much for uh, paying attention to me. And uh, my name is Dafa Pratia. I'm from English literature major. And feel free if, if you want to have any question and approach me. Thank you so much.